What's up everybody, Sniper Beer Rob here, and I'm bringing you a world edit tutorial today. Um, it might be kind of boring, but you gotta understand that making a tutorial is not really supposed to be entertaining. I wanna keep it as entertaining as possible though, and um, I'm kinda happy because this is my uh, server I set up myself. Finally figured out how to set one up. This is all I really have, is this is the spawn right here, and then there's the uh, another portal. That's all I got. So uh, let's start with like the very basics of world edit. Let's see. First we would like something really easy to do with world edit, so let's get a compass. Um compass is compass. <laughs> okay. So one of the very cool things about world edit, one of the features is that you can just left click with the compass in your hand and it will take you wherever you're looking. So say if I'm looking right here, it'll bring me to the top of the portal. See? So say if you're like want to click like want to go on that tree right there, it'll just bring you to the top of the tree. See? And another cool thing about World Edit is with the compass you can right click and it'll make you go through an object. And there you go. And if you don't have a compass on hand, you can do this. This this is the uh left click command, it's called jump to. And then the right click command, which is called through. Oh, okay, we gotta get closer if you're gonna do that command. Through. There you go. And that's that's it basically it for like the easy moving around kind of stuff. And now here's like the very basics of setting objects from Rode Edit. Like let's start right here. Okay, say we want this oh wait. Yeah, okay, say we want this area right here to be like cobble. So you left click here with a wooden axe, it has to be with a wooden axe, not, nothing else. And right click over here. Or like wherever you want it, wherever you want the uh, the specified area to be, then you do set, and then whatever number it is. So it's cobble is four, so I'm gonna write four, and let's do. I want to try something. Okay, this, okay. Say you made a mistake. Then what you do is undo, and then it's undo. And then if you say like, oh crap, I didn't make a mistake. Never mind. Then you do redo. You can also do multiple undos at the same time by undo and then like the number, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Okay, and I think you can also do this. Set stone. Then it'll make it stone. So if you don't know the item ID, I think that'll work. So let's just set it back to sand. Oh crap. Set it back to sand the way it was. And say you have a large like body of water you don't want, then you do this command. Drain. And then I always do a number like this three 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 or something. So it drains all of the water near it. Now I just drain like a whole entire ocean. So, yeah, I'm going to have to undo that because I don't want to drain the solution. But that's what I do if I'm in a cave and there's like waterfall thingies that I don't want. You just do that command and you're good. So, Road Edit is actually a very easy plugin to install. I didn't know it was going to be so easy. All I did was have to copy and paste a jar file, which is really freaking easy. Okay, so those are like the basics of Road Edit. And now, here's some other very good things you can use, like um, circles, which I'm pretty sure it's, this is circle command. Okay, that's circle command. Then you do H, this is the circle command for a hollow circle. This is for a hollow circle, that's what, that's what the H stands for, and CYL stands for circle. Um, say you want a, a nice tower about 20 high, and the radius is 10, and the block ID is cobble, so 4 for cobble. Radius, I said, was 10, so that's 10, and then height, 20. And we got this huge tower going up like that. There we go. And let's get rid of that because I really don't want this. I'm going to undo everything because I'm not going to want any of this in my server. And let me show you some of the minor problems with undoing stuff. Like, let's see, let's grab what? Okay, a torch or some torches. And then um, where's the signs at? Signs are like 300 something down here in this area. Okay, signs. Okay, say we have this block of sand right here. And we have like this, some sand right here. Okay. Then we have our sign. Let's get some more signs actually. One, two, three. And there we go. We have our little signs here. Say we have a sign right here that says uh, Wiener. Then we have a torch that's directly on top of this block. And then a torch that's next to it. It's not on it, it's next to it. And we have this one that's on it. 
And like you can just see that one's on it. That's next to it. That's on top of it. And this one's like next to it here. We got one here. And then we have say this on just for a decor uh, decoration. Nothing written on it. There we go. That's what that is. And then now watch if I do something like this. Move my wand. Say say I go here. Then go up to like here. Then I do set 10. Oh! I forgot 10 was lava. Oh my god, why did I do 10? Oh my god. Never do like 9 or 10 because those are both lava. Or no. 10 or 11 is lava numbers. Never do those. And never do, well you can do 8 or 9 because that's water. What the heck is this? Come on, hang up and respawn. This is why, oh my god, I might have ruined my whole server doing that. I'm going to have to fucking undo that. Oh my god, this sucks balls. This sucks balls. Undo. Please tell me it undoed. Uh -huh. You know what I meant. Okay, undo successful. Good. Well, now they gotta wait for this shit to get out of here. I think it can also drain lava. Drain. Please. Oh crap, it drained the whole ocean again. Okay, but I'll show you really quick. See how we undid it? Oh, wow. Well, you can see it's not perfect, but so some of the torches disappeared. But usually your sign will be empty and it won't say anything on there. That's what will happen with your sign. So here, let's get the water back in here. Undo. But let's say we just want to drain the lava. So let's go right here and, and do um drain. And now, you know, I don't want to hit any of the water at all, just the lava. So let's go all the way over here. God damn it, sorry for my mistake. Here, I'm gonna. Actually, I'm not gonna cut this out of the video because this is what would happen if some idiot did this to your server. So let's do drain 10. There you go, half of it's gone. Let's do another drain 10. Drain 10. Zero bot. What the fuck you. Drain. Ah. No, who that would have been bad. Green ten. There we go. Now we, now we can just get rid of this by hand. This is nothing. I'll get rid of that in a second. Not now. I really feel like it. Um, that's all for this part of the world edit tu tutorial. This is all like the basic commands of world edit. I'll get into more some of the difficult stuff when um in a bit. Hold on a second. Okay, now we're gonna do some of the more difficult stuff involving world edit. So let's get our wand back up in here. And then let's grab some tools that we're going to need. You can do any of these tools. So I'm just going to grab all stone tools. Um, it doesn't matter what tools you're using. It doesn't matter. It just matters that you have some tool in your hand. So what we're going to do... Well, actually, before we do this, let me do another thing. You know how I told you that circle tower? We can also do this. H, sphere. Then that's, that's the hollow sphere command. Now, a normal sphere would be without the H. And that'd be a full sphere, but I don't really know why you need that. So we do H sphere. And if you're unsure of the order of block radius and um, if it's raised or not, that's why I just did it so I can see what it was like. So let's say you want to make a sphere out of normal stone. Make it five. Oh my god, my freaking dog is being an ass. And there we go. Now we're inside of a sphere. Let's undo that. Hold on, I, I gotta go with the camera dog. Okay, my dog was like going crazy. I don't know what happened. So let's set the time today. This this isn't ha this doesn't have anything to do with the uh, world edit. Um, on this, this is just like the basic command. And from like all um bucket servers. Um, so where was I? Oh yeah, the hollow sphere. I made that. Then that's really all I know for like hollow spheres and that kind of stuff. And then now we're going to get on to the brushes. Now the brushes are very important for the people that need to get rid of some spots that they don't want. Or say, get rid of stuff that, that you don't really want to get near. So let's take out this mountain right here. Or no, let's take out part of it. You, you'll see. So we don't, you can't use the wand because that's already set. Or okay, I mean, we can't use the wooden axe because that's set for the wand. So let's use a uh, stone pick. Now we'll do burr. Which, stands for, which means brush, and then sphere, and then there we go. And then what I do is I do 
you, hit, you go mat, which means for the material. So if I get zero, which is air, which means like it'll get rid of stuff. And then you go to size. And I want to see what the max size you can get. Oh yeah, the max size is five, I guess. I don't. I think you can edit that, but I'm not sure. So it's, it's a brush, brush of five. And so what we do is right click to use our brush. We right click it. So you just took out a whole big sphere of five things. You can see it's getting rid of all this. It's getting rid of all this mountain stuff. Okay, there we go. Now we want to undo that because this is my server and I don't want to mess it up. So we do undo six. I think I did it six times. So there we go. Everything's undoed or undone, <laughs> I guess. So there we go. That's all fixed, I think. Yeah, it should be all fixed. So that's how you would uh, take get rid of stuff from farther away. Now, for the guy on our server, Secret Agent guy, if you want to get rid of all like the little floating box in the air, you'd probably want to go with the smaller size of two or three or maybe one, because the size of two it gets, it gets rid of about this much. Actually, you should probably do one. Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend doing one. Let's undo that. Cause let's see, let's see what one is like. Okay. Size. Oh no, wrong brush. So that'd be. It's gotta be on this brush. So say size one. That looks like. Yeah, that's that's good for removing floating blocks. That seems pretty good. So. Hmm. I think of some other stuff that is involved in world edit. Like there's also some other uh, brush commands. Like let's use this one for this. Let's do um. Burr. Smooth. You can also do circles, it doesn't matter, but I'm most familiar with the, uh, I'm most familiar with the sphere. That's what I do is I sphere it out and then, like, smooth it out. So let's do material. Let's do material one. Then, okay. Now, I'm not very good with smooth. I don't even know how it really works. Like, I'm right-clicking right now. I guess it's smoothing out the surface right here. See, so I guess it's smoothing it out. So that's good, I guess. I'm not a big guy. I don't really know how much it does. That's really all I know for my world edit. So I guess I'm just gonna end the video here. So if this if this tutorial helped you, um, like it, subscribe it, subscribe to me. Um, this is just this is a request from somebody on my multiplayer server that well not my multiplayer server like a server that I play on because he really didn't know how to use uh, world edit. So I hope this helped him. And if it didn't, tell me exactly what your problem is or like. What were you getting stuck on? Because I think I've done a pretty good job of uh, explaining it. So this is Sniper B Rob. Peace out.